You are in the operational hub of the international system and certainly the operational hub of the United Nations. Nowhere else on the planet do you have an agglomeration of organizations and UN staff whose work affects every single human being on this planet every 24-hour period. I think it's important for this building to be renovated because this is where people come from around the world to make decisions, day-to-day -day decisions that affect people. It looks great. Uh, it's beautifully maintained on the outside. Behind the scenes, it's a bit of another story. The buildings have never really been uh, modernized or upgraded or comprehensively renovated. So that's what we're here to do. We want to make the Palais safer, so we have to apply the fire, health and safety codes. These installations date from 1936. We have de plus en plus de mal à les réparer. Il serait urgent de les remplacer. Au palais, you have 40 ans d'installation électrique. Il devient urgent de moderniser ces équipements. Accessing Palais Nation is quite difficult. Inside, you face a number of accessibility challenges. Quatre millions de documents des Nations Unies, un million cinq cent quatre-vingt mille livres, quarante-cinq kilomètres linéaires de rayons sur dix étages de magasins. Invaluable knowledge that needs protection. We need to make sure that it's a safe environment for our staff and for the delegates who come here. And we need to modernize the working environment. The way we work has changed, and the Palais de Nations needs to enable new and efficient ways of working. On the technical side, we have outdated equipment, we have conference facilities that still are in the analog ages. The building here is the physical symbol of International Geneva. I'm looking forward to working in a dynamic environment and collaboratively with my colleagues. This is an amazing facility, but it needs to be renovated. The time is now.